CDC is supposed to prepare, for, help government prepare for these kinds of things. Were we prepared? The only thing predictable about flu is that it's unpredictable. Even in an average year, flu kills tens of thousands of Americans and sends hundreds of thousands to the hospital. It's not the common cold. It's a serious illness that can be deadly, particularly for people who are older, have weakened immune systems, health problems, or other, other challenges. What we've known for some time is that this year's particular strain, something known as H3N2, is harder on old people and kids. And unfortunately, this year's vaccine doesn't appear to be working as well as we would like. But that suggests the CDC is making this judgment in the absence of information. And that's just not true. You can look at Australia and see the strain that's developing there. You can look at other places around the world. Doesn't that give you some predictability? Absolutely. There's a great global collaboration to track flu as it moves around the world so we can predict which, vac which vaccine strains to put into our vaccine and how bad the year is going to be. What about this Japanese drug maker that says they have this pill that all of a sudden can help uh, eliminate or, or cure this virus within a day? I'll believe it when I see rigorous studies that show it. What we do know is that if you do have the flu, it's really important to see your doctor about getting Tamiflu promptly, particularly for women who are pregnant, kids, people with heart disease or lung disease, and people who are older. So are you saying it's not that the CDC was caught off guard, it's just that this flu strain was just much worse than expected? It's much worse than an average year. We expect that when it's this type of flu strain, it's going to be a tough year for flu. And that's one of the real challenges. That's why there are some straightforward things everyone can do. Stay home if you're sick. Cover your coughs and sneezes. Uh, take Tamiflu if your doctor recommends it. If you're getting sick, the sooner you take it, the more likely it is to help you. And it's still not too late for a flu shot. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Where are we out of the woods on this, do you think? I mean, every day we have a new story about someone dying was per perfectly healthy. In some cases, they got the flu shot. When are we out of the woods? We're still at the peak of flu season. It'll be a, a few more weeks or even a few more months until flu season recedes for this year. But in this acute moment, we know the thing you're supposed to do right now, but in planning for maybe the next time this happens, what better and more can be done to maybe not get to an acute situation like this? In the long term, we need a universal flu vaccine, but that may be a decade or two away. There are things that we can do in the interim to figure out which vaccines work better. They're now cell-based vaccines, high-dose vaccines, adjuvant-assisted vaccines. We don't know if any of those are better, but we should rigorously study that so we can know and have the best products for as many people as can get them. Does that mean more money for CDC? Absolutely, and that's why I'm so concerned that the administration proposed a 20% cut in the CDC's budget. Just earlier this week. That would bring CDC's budget back to nearly uh, 15, 20 years ago when Finding Nemo was released. This is not the way to protect Americans. It risks more cancer, more outbreaks, less safe Americans. Cutting the budget when you need it now more than ever. Thank you, Dr. Tom Frieden. Hope Thank someone's you. listening to you this morning.